so if we're watching um a 2020 movie um 15 years from now so that means we'll just flip and pass like jump and pass we would not be captivated by the movie which is so 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 shameful if i may say hello welcome to yet another time with me my name is chacha wabara thank you for doing this with me today is for a nigerian movie freezing my credit cards will not make me find a wife i'm not ready to settle down just yet you are turning 30 and you insist on acting like you are three years old you and that's your parasitic friend waiting for you to please your mother of, of more money yeah yeah everybody run come out for village so you know they're setting us up right the you are you really anything the rest of the issue and it is titled diddy blues <laughs> this drama is it's a 2016 nigerian movie but we're just reviewing it now yeah so this movie has actors and actresses like gideon okeke awa alibura lepashios bosse buki wright daniel lloyd tinamba and nancy in same now this drama is talking about a guy uh, that is gideon okeke gideon okeke's mom is a textile businesswoman a big time rich businesswoman and he just leaves off his mom he comes periodically to collect cash you know check and is the only son now she wants him to settle down now we have this other girl she's hustling for herself she's an event planner she's in partnership with her friend or a senior in school and they own this event business event planning business so chance meeting in the market and you know they start hooking up to together and he finds out that Gideon Okeke he, he, he was always on the fast lane and then his friend I think Daniel Lloyd he was with him using his money he didn't mind anyway but his mom wanted him to settle down wanted him to be more you know composed more, how could I put it now more responsible so she gives him an, an ultimatum gives him five million that if he doesn't do well for himself pick up himself that um, that five million is his inheritance yeah now she wanted him to meet a pastor's daughter he met up with the pastor's daughter which is nancy in Sime, and uh, we didn't work out because apparently that church church thing my father is a pastor thing was just for home and she was a nympho in a certain meeting hour frequently and they found out that they liked each other and she tried to teach him more values of you know helping people appreciating other people you know all of that now for me this movie i I don't, I don't even know how to review the movie other than i kind of like expected more from gideon okeke and um, i just thought it would be a good watch um, at the moment i've not really seen much of nigerian movies that will make me so happy that i've seen the movie um i was thinking like with gideon okeke you you can't go wrong but obviously i was wrong yeah now um this movie was just a normal ninja movie that was just you know normal cliche nothing special nothing wonderful it was not informative it was not helpful in any way it didn't just entertain me what even annoyed me more was even at the end of it when they were in the lagoon or where don't even know how <laughs> they were going to Morocco where and he now jumps into the river you say you don't love me like if you say you don't want me anymore I will kill myself because he couldn't swim and I jumped into the lake uh, it was just annoying <laughs> <laughs> God, voila. it was just annoying and i didn't find it funny at all so it didn't do anything for me and i was asking myself what is this now there's this other part the part of daniel lloyd who is a gambler living off gideon's wealth or riches and keeps gambling and anytime they want to you know show daniel lloyd he's in a dark corner playing snooker or playing or as they call it this gambling thing as they call it now you know just one they, they didn't do it properly the shooting was on the scale of one to ten it was a two for me it's the photography was just rubbish and every other thing was just not coordinated at all so why would daniel Lloyd always be in this dark corner how you know it was just annoying it was too childish it was still below par and you know that's some nigerian movies that you will see that are evergreen just like alter ego alter ego was like 2015 and here the 20 yeah, sorry 2018 or 2017 and here we are still watching alter ego like they just the movie just came out today the movie just debuted today that's a good movie that's a movie is when, when you when you're making a movie you make the movie properly so that you know 
10 years from now, 20 years from now, when you sit down, be like, oh yeah, this is a good watch, you know. A really hard phone. Or you call your kids, your grandkids, like, this was what was raining. This was the 18 when we were young. And they would really sit down and like it. Why do people like oldies? All these songs that are oldies. It, it makes sense. Not all these ones like, hey, bah, bah, bah. the next two minutes you've forgotten it onto the new one. You know, there's some oldies that are ever green. And that is what I expect from Nollywood at this point because actually we have come a long way. So this movie did nothing for me and I'll be rating it a 3 over 10, which brings me to the end of this movie review. I don't even want to go into the into hours role. All of them were just playing there. They were not serious at all. And they went to go and bring in Paul Banky to come and be doing the things that he was doing on stage too. Well, all fine and good. My, my best song for that matter. But anyhow, we have seen the movie. And we can't say we have not seen the movie. So which brings me to the end of this review. Up there you see my Korean movie review, my Nigerian movie reviews, my Chinese movie reviews, and then again my movie reviews. If you haven't subscribed, please I beg in the name of God, be Oh, sorry for all the things I've done to you. Please subscribe. Hit on the subscribe button. Turn up your post notifications to be alerted when new videos come up, please. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. And please watch my video to the end. Please, I'm begging you. Please. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for doing this with me. Bye.